Hi there, I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com and this is my smart American accent training. In this video, we'll talk about the noun shut down and the verb shut down. We'll talk about how these differ and how you use them, how to pronounce them with the correct rhythm and pronunciation. So you, uh, in the verb or in the noun shut down, for example, um, there's go there may be a government shutdown starting soon. We have uh, it's called a compound noun, so um, or it's it's a compound in that we stress the first syllable. It's all one word. There's no space between shut and down. Down is an adjective um, or an adverb, but in this case, the shut down we want to stress on that first syllable. So letter U says the uh sound. We have the sh for sh, and then letter letters O W say ow. The ow diphthong shut down. Um, the sh Let's use this in a few examples to get the rhythm. For example, a shutdown will cause the national parks to close. Um, a shutdown is a big um, obstacle to getting anything done. Um, I hope that the Congress can avoid a shutdown. So that's the noun. But we also have a phrasal verb to shut down. And in phrasal verbs, we stress on the preposition uh, rather than the um, noun. Okay, so this is a preposition. I misspoke and said adjective or adverb uh, earlier. Preposition. So when we're talking about um, something, someone shutting up, shutting in, shutting out, shutting down, we have to stress on the preposition because it's where the meaning is carried. The verb is important and often a verb will get the stress if it's by itself, but in a phrasal verb, we stress the second word, the preposition, so that we know which meaning to mean. It's very different if I say, um, we're going to have, um, we need to shut out the um, noise versus um, the government may shut down. Um, so as we had, we have the exact same pronunciation of the two words. In writing, it's written as two separate words. Shut down the noun is written as one word. So the government will shut down, stress on down, and two separate words. So some again, again some examples. Um, I hope the government can, uh, does not shut down um, for long if it does have a shutdown. Um, to avoid a shutdown, we really don't want the government to shut down. Um, obviously, there are other um, applications for this as well. For example, my computer shut down. Um, um, and um, the, um, the internet shut down temporarily. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you need more help for, um, for nouns versus verbs, where the, where the stress pattern lies, or for phrasal verbs, check out some more videos here on the channel. We also talk about this in our American Accent six-week course, which you can find on speechmodification.com. All of our online courses are designed to help you work on your own through these types of concepts to improve your confidence and your fluency when speaking American English. Check them out on speechmodification.com. I'll be back again tomorrow with another word of the day, and on Saturday we'll have our live question and answer class. You can also check out our Vowels Challenge, our new series, live series that we'll be streaming through November and December. I hope you'll join me for that as well. Check, out it, check that out on the playlists as well as on recent videos here on the channel. Thanks so much for watching. Looking forward to seeing you in our next class. I'm Christine Dunbar from speechmodification.com. Remember, if you want to sound like a native speaker, you can do it. Speechmodification.com. Bye everyone. Hope to see you again soon.